Hey, YouTube family. Today we are in North Myrtle Beach, virtually hanging out at one of my favorite spots, Lulu's Beach Cafe, right here on the Intercoastal Waterway in Barefoot Landing. We're going to be jumping into Google Maps, exploring the community of Barefoot Resort and Golf, just on the opposite side of the ICW. We're going to be looking at the points of interest, the neighborhoods throughout Barefoot Resort and Golf. Of course, it's proximity to the beach. And if you stick around to the end, we're going to take a look at your own private oceanfront beach cabana just for residents here of Barefoot Resort and Golf. So if you are thinking about making a move here to North Myrtle Beach and you're wanting more information on Barefoot Resort and Golf, well, this video is for you. We're going to have some fun. So sit back, relax, grab your favorite beachside cocktail because we're getting after it right now. Welcome to the channel or welcome back to the channel. I'm Jeff Bueller with Living in Myrtle Beach. If this is your first time to this channel and you're wanting to learn everything there is to know about living, working, playing, or simply living that beach lifestyle, you have come to the right place. Go ahead, hit the subscribe button, tap the little bell, give us a thumbs up. This way you'll be notified on all things Living in Myrtle Beach. Today, we are exploring the community of Barefoot Resort and Golf in Google Maps. But before I get started, I do need to give a huge shout out to all the amazing people that we've been able to successfully help make their move here to the beach. That's right. I'm talking to you and you and you and you and you. If you too are wanting to make a smooth move here to the beach, whether it's in nine days, 90 days, or the next nine months from now, give me a call, shoot me a text, send me an email. Best yet, schedule that Zoom call. I'd love to meet you. Okay, let's go ahead and dive on in. Here we are, Barefoot Resort and Golf in North Myrtle Beach. You are going to find that it is situated just west of Business 17. From inside the community, crossing the Intercoastal Waterway, you are just within two to three miles to the beach. Now, one of the biggest benefits of owning in Barefoot Resort and Golf, as I've mentioned, is access to a private beach cabana. And we will be getting to that. But first, what I'd like for us to do is go ahead and make our way further into the community, explore some of the neighborhoods, the ins and outs and points of interest. You're gonna find that Barefoot Resort sits just on the opposite side of the Intercoastal Waterway. And of course, we're hanging out right here at Lulu's. As we continue further into the neighborhood, one of the first stops that we're going to find is the North Tower Resort. Now, if having a private beach cabana wasn't enough for you, as a resident of Barefoot Resort and Golf, you have access to the North Tower Resort Swimming Pool where you overlook the Intercoastal Waterway and Marina. In my full vlog tour of Barefoot Resort and Golf, we do go through the North Tower. If you're looking for a two, three, or four bedroom unit, whether it's your primary residence, a second vacation home, or rental property, you are going to find that here at the North Tower. Okay, let's go ahead and move our way back in to the community. One of the benefits that I think you'll find living in Barefoot Resort and Golf, you do have a fire station, North Myrtle Beach Fire Station number five located inside the community. As things continue to grow, you even have a market and cafe here uh, there are some additional shops through here as well. If you're looking for that golf lifestyle, of course, we have four championship golf courses here within Barefoot Resort and Golf, the first of them being the Die Club. So if you're looking for exclusivity, this semi-private golf course is going to give it to you here. You do have some little pocket spots of homes here in this neighborhood as well as some homes located directly along the Intercoastal Waterway. Again, watching my full vlog tour, I do discuss membership options that are available to you, so be sure to check that out. We're going to continue further into the neighborhood along Club Drive, and you'll see that Club Drive essentially meanders its way, making a big loop 
all the way through, kind of winding in and out before you ultimately make your way to the exit. And of course you have neighborhoods after neighborhoods after neighborhoods scattered all throughout Barefoot Resort and Golf. You can see just these pocket neighborhoods all throughout the community. Now, when we talk about accessibility to roadways, of course, you do have to at times contend with Highway 17, but you will find that as we make our way further to the back of Barefoot Resort and Golf, you do have some access points here to Water Tower Road. Water Tower Road will bring you out to Highway 31. So following Water Tower Road, onto Highway 31, which is going to allow you to access the South Strand or the North Strand really within a matter of minutes. In addition to that, you have Highway 22. Highway 22 is going to take you further west into Conway and into Ainer with easy access to the interstate. Okay, let's bring ourselves back into the community, back from Water Tower Road as we make our way through uh, Marsh Glen Drive, if having that beach cabana wasn't enough for you, if you get tired of the resort swimming pool, well, as a resident here in Barefoot Resort and Golf, you also have the Residence Clubhouse. It's a 5,000 square foot clubhouse facility and swimming pool. You have basketball courts, you have tennis courts and bocce ball courts. Continuing through the community, if you're looking for an exclusive gated community, gated neighborhood on the golf course. Well, you're gonna find that here in Leatherleaf where you have the love course surrounding the neighborhood of Leatherleaf. Again, if you want more details on that, be sure to check out my full vlog tour. As we exit out of Leatherleaf and continue our way through Barefoot Resort and Golf, you're gonna find so many options when it comes to condos and townhomes, primarily on this side of the community. One of those neighborhoods that we do go into is the Clearwater Bay townhome community surrounded by the Norman course. In Clearwater Bay, you're going to find two, three or four bedroom units with either one or two car garages, screen porches, lanais and sunrooms. You also have access to your own private swimming pool and clubhouse in, here in Clearwater Bay. Continuing on as we meander back through the community, if you're looking to shave a few extra strokes off of your golf game, which most of us generally are, you do have the Champions Golf Academy. And after you know a, a practice instruction round there, well, you can come right here to Putter's Pub uh, for a cool, cold beverage. Okay, I know you're wanting to find out more about how and where is that beach cabana, and we're getting there. As we make our way along Barefoot Resort Bridge, and of course, if you have the kids or the grandkids visiting and you wanna take them to Barefoot Landing, I think a great benefit here as you're crossing Barefoot Bridge Road, whether it is by car or of course by golf cart, you can get there without actually having to get onto Highway 17. What you'll do is you'll come right into the back parking lot of the House of Blues, which is going to allow you to traverse through here right into the Barefoot Landing Complex. From there, you can bring the grandkids to the Tiger Preservation Station where they can get their pictures taken with Tiger Cubs. Afterwards, you can bring them to Sweet Molly's Ice Cream for an ice cream cone. From there, you can then come to Lulu's Beach Cafe, let them run around on the sandy beach area while you relax with a cocktail in your hand. In the evening time, if you're looking for something a little bit more refined, well, you can come to Greg Norman's Australian Grill for a uh, fine dining dinner there. There are so many options so close to you here at Barefoot Landing. And I'll tell you, there's no question that this is a heavily uh, visited area with tourists, but you're gonna find in those, especially in those spring and summer months, it will have somewhat of a local vibe to it. My family and I, we visit there all the time. And regularly when we visit, we will run into people that we know, we will run into to friends here in Barefoot Landing. As we make our way out and we're coming back along Barefoot Resort Road, 
we're going to find ourselves at a traffic light here at 17, allowing us to cross to 46 Avenue South, which will allow us to make our way to the beach. And we're gonna go ahead and do just that. I love this 3D view. We're gonna scroll out here a little bit. And what you're going to notice is that you do have all these neighborhood streets uh, throughout here. So it is a little less congested. And I think you're gonna feel very comfortable if you are uh, driving your golf cart or even riding a bicycle to the beach. You do have sidewalks along 46th Avenue South. And so as we make our way through and on our way to the beach, ultimately we're going to come to a private beach access here uh, with public parking that you certainly could access. But what we're really looking for is making this right-hand turn and you're going to find your private beach cabana located right here. You do also have additional parking here at your beach cabana. You're gonna find that you have that second story view of the ocean. So if you are like my friend Joe, who does like going to the beach, but he refuses getting sand in between the toes, still wears his socks and shoes to the beach, this is probably going to be the best option for you. If North Myrtle Beach is where you wanna call home and find yourself in Barefoot Resort in Golf, if you wanna explore and discuss any of the 26 plus neighborhoods throughout the community, well, you know, all you've gotta do is give me a call, shoot me a text, send me an email, schedule a Zoom call, I'd love to meet you. And well, of course, until next time, I look forward to seeing you at the beach. Thank you.